Hmm. This is my jam. Chants and dances of the Native Americans. Sacred spirit. All right, let's let her do it. Here, give her to me. Give her to me. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. I got it. I got you. I got you. You want me to do a talk? I think it's the blinking lights, Ma. I don't know if she likes them. You gotta be careful with strobe lights and stuff like that. People have been known to have seizures. You know it? I didn't know that. So I think I'm going to turn the flashy ones off tonight, okay? Okay. You don't mind. No. You don't mind, do you? No. Good girl sass. I just don't think she's in the mood. She just wants to stretch her legs. You know it? She starts getting restless. And, and it's a full moon today, Ma. You know it? Yeah. <laughs> Tango wouldn't know it. He's over here snoozing in the cat bed. Come on, girl. <clears throat> Alright, Ma, you gotta hold her like a taco. Like a what? Like a little taco. Mm -hmm. A little sass. Gotta hold her like a little taco. Like a little sass. There you go, little one. Just like that. Just like that. Okay? Okay? You got her? Yeah. You got her? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna turn off that flashy light. I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that flashy light tonight. Whew. Kind of makes my third eye twitch. Oh, I got to go get my other little lamp. She's good. She's good. She needs to go walk around again. I'll take her not to worry about a thing. What was I doing? Oh, I got to get my light. I'm really not prepared today. Here we go. My production light lamp. <laughs> it's solar. Go, 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 go. Solar has a solar tile. Can't wait till they're making like roof shingles of these. Are they doing that yet? I'm like, why haven't they been? For years I've been putting it out there. Has it happened yet? <laughs> so it has different settings of lights and stuff like that. I'm going to keep it on white that soft there's one of them that's supposed to flicker like a candle <laughs> anyway hi welcome to my tube my tiny little tube my name's marge i'm Hayoka empath i just like having these little talks on the way i feel about things being Hayoka, and you're always feeling some kind of way stanley's not sleeping in the chair today he's found he's, he's found the spot back in the pillow he might get up. It might be time close to time for him to be waking up. Every, we're also on just clocks, our internal clocks. So what time is it, though? I, I'm, I started it. It's a quarter after six. Where are we? What are we? Mountain time? The only... Eastern is the only time zone I, we haven't lived in, Ma. <laughs> oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Eh? So... Anyway, moon's full, freaking energy's wild, people are racing up and down the street, you can feel the kinetic energy, low, high, positive, negative, I mostly had a good day, I don't think I had anything really bad happen, I didn't get mad or nothing, 
<laughs> That's a good day. Any day I don't get mad is a good day. I've uh, been fighting a cold. I haven't been sick. I've been sick one time in, what, 20 years now? Ma, too. And uh, we're pretty healthy, but that's why is because when you start, I start to feel wear down, I take extra measures to freaking kick whatever little ick <laughs> that's in me. Get it out of me. And um, I've been taking shots of this uh, fire cider. I talked a little bit about it yesterday. I didn't realize on the box, duh. I probably did. I probably read it before I forgot. I got a lot on my mind any given day. <laughs> so fire cider, this stuff is pretty cool. Burp. Where is, it, where is it from? How to use? Take it with a shot or two. Mix it with. Well, I have to chase it with water. I'm getting. I'm. I'm getting more and more sensitive. I'm not the rough and tough and tumble I always been. I gotta freaking chase my fire cider <laughs> with water. <laughs> huh? Oh shoot. Tuck, you alright? So it has a lot of good stuff in it. Apple cider vinegar. Honey, oranges, ginger, onions, lemon, horseradish, garlic, turmeric, black pepper, and habanero pepper. So... You can take two shots up and up, up. You can you can drink as much. It's like a vinaigrette. It's like a gnarly vinaigrette. You can make actually make it into salad dressing. Um, but it's pretty cool. It, it makes me feel better. I mean, it works. It it freaking helps. <laughs> you know, I start. It started out with like a little tickle in my sinus, and one of these night, a couple nights ago, and I woke up in the night and I could feel it, and I was like, oh no, I see you. And I just started looking at you. I'm like, you dirty little bug. You get out of my sinus. You are too lowly, low vibrational to be in my sinus. <laughs> you know? Maybe it has something to do with when I was younger, I watched Inner Space. Maybe early childhood programming. My inner child, my inner childhood, my, 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 what was it? What do they call that, Mom? The childhood programming. Oh, is she taco -y? She likes to be taco -y. I'm all like the nurse. I'm the hospice nurse. Oh, she's like 19. So. But I, I, I read her pretty good. I'm not just a, I'm a person empath. I don't just read people. I read. You know, you know, how many empaths are there that just. How can you not read animals? I think, I think that's why we have so much fun in life. I have a wonderful imagination. I always have. It's always gotten me in trouble. Because other people can't imagine things like I do. So they're like, what is wrong with you? And I'm thinking, what's wrong with you? You can't imagine? Really? Especially these self-proclaimed op people with open minds. I help people with open minds open their minds. <laughs> I help to get them letting them know that there's, there, there are aspects of this universe that maybe you should consider. You know, in the ongoing perpetual versus game, versus in the universes, the universes. You know? Anyway, I always had a really vivid imagination. We grew up so poor, and heck, yeah, you know, how many how many times a year we had to spend freaking eleven hours on a Greyhound bus going from one end of California to the other? I had lots of time to imagine stuff. So I just delve off into my own imagination and what if it was like this and I grew up in the 70s, 80s, early 80s when, you know, during the course of this time and that was not a very good time to be a lesbian. It never really is convenient. See, and the way I look at it is I think in my last in our incarnation in the several before, because we all get a chance to check out different libraries of life, life library, you know, the Akashic Record. You just check out lives and try this on and try that long and don't do this and ultimately do this and ultimately is to get our spirit to, to grow closer back to source God, you know, the grand disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
or people freaking I don't know destructing their ego egos I every every destructive thing I've ever done it was ego driven for some for some selfish means and thank goodness it erupted you know because every time it erupted it just shifted me more closer to living living closer to spirit you know just the golden rules just basic decency shit just shit that's gone out the window you know common courtesy has become painfully uncommon <laughs> I went to the market today I don't like going to the market I don't I just don't like being around people much right now until they settle down because <laughs> I get I feel that I get caught up man people are like you can disconnect your energy from the I'm like you you ain't been a, you ain't lived in incarnation like me and if you did you don't remember you know us sensitive it's not the meek that's gonna inherit us it's us sensitive and everybody's getting more and more sensitive sensitive to light sound taste you know it's kind of what happens, so. But that's all right, because look at who's just moving toward. Just just put your mind put your mind on an operating system. Just live by a chip. I'm just like, dude, it cracks me up how much faith people have in technology as a career, as an IT professional. Because that shit is like riggedy raggedy, you know? You don't, you don't have the freaking most stellar personality types that are doing it. They're just not. I mean, look at, look at, look at your, your support staff. Look at who you're, you know, look how these guys, you know, they're all kind of the same. They're all kind of the same. Every company I ever worked at, every, in the different departments, the guy, like the programmers are, they're all greasy dudes. <laughs> I hated touching their keyboards, man. Hated it. Ugh. Greasy, grimy. Ooh, greasy people. <laughs> That's a low vibrational frequency to me. You know, you don't give a shit enough about yourself to clean yourself off. That's just too bad. And so, anyway, I go to I go to the grocery store. <laughs> it's pretty busy, you know. But people are in a pretty good mood. They're pretty warm and receptive. I'm a very complimentary person. I used to hear people that were complimentary, and I'm like, like, like I used to know this woman named Cookie, and she was so sweet and so nice to everybody. I'm like, she was also a waitress, you know. She was Libra, I believe. <laughs> That's funny in retrospect. So, uh, she, uh, she died. Rest in peace. <laughs> she was a life lesson. We'll talk about that later. But she was just so sweet as sugar. And she kind of looked like Dolly Parton, too. She had big... Anyway. <laughs> She's just a real kind lady. and But she was kind of a... I don't know. She was flashy. Like a Dolly Parton, kind of. And, uh... And I'm like, how do you just say things? You can't possibly. We'd be back doing side work at Chevy's, <laughs> doing. And I would ask her, like, you can't possibly, like, like like so many women's blouses. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? I'm like, are you, like how much of the stuff that you say do you actually mean? Because people like that, when they compliment me. I never believe it because they just fucking go around and freaking compliment everybody. But something what I've learned to do as I got older, you're supposed to get less crusty around the edges. I don't know. The jury's still out on me. <laughs> I got a hard candy shell. I'm all soft and squishy inside, though. Uh, uh, I got a soft, soft heart, but, but like, mm, sometimes, and it, it's... Oh, because I, I didn't even know about post-traumatic stress until I was, like, 36, 37. And I read all these, like, it was like a pamphlet or a questionnaire. And I was like, well, I will be damned. <laughs> I scored as high on that test as I did the, do you have a problem with alcohol test? <laughs> I never did good in school, but those two tests, I got, I did pretty good <laughs> on ace in those. <laughs> anyway so mm, and the Aspie test test 
the Asperger's. I, but I knew I was tested for that when I was, like, in junior high, but nobody gave a shit. You're just, like, they put you in the remedial, the retard classes, you know, all that stuff. Whatever. Whatever. I always made the best of every situation I in. I was in. I don't care. Put me wherever you want. I'm just going to try and freaking make the best of it. Because people try to put me in situations to make me very uncomfortable just to see what I do. <laughs> I'm a, I've am ai been at case study for a long time. Oh, what you going to say? Oh, no. Anyway, so back to the market. <laughs> I eventually bring it back around tie up loose ends maybe sometimes I'll forget stuff and then freaking think about it later and talk about it on another talk so uh it was pretty busy uh, you know I, like I stopped off in the flower department and their floor department's pretty cool and smelled some stuff to get get that get the flower you know and it just okay, okay I had my music on you know and uh but people were pretty curious today and I have my route that I go and I had to find a guy, cause I I, can't, I look for like the support stuff, like I always like I go to a grocery store and I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking for like where the 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 the, the fire extinguishers are, you know. The, I'm looking for like the spill kits, so in case I need it, that I can just go to it without freaking having to bother anybody. It's called it's something that I don't think people know about much anymore. But it's called initiative. <laughs> so, uh, I walked up and down, and because some stores they like, they have whole stations and stuff like that. Some some places they'll keep it in back, and I'm not wandering around in back or nothing like that. So I just started wandering around until I could find an employee, and finally found a young man. I can't remember his name. I always look at name tags though and say their name and uh address people and uh i was and i asked them where one was and like at the end of the row they had these little round like uh little round cylinders and he pulled an expanding caution sign out and i was like okay good to know <laughs> and then because i told there's a there's a suicidal egg down in the dairy department and it, and it was a slipping hazard. And so, so, uh, there's a wet spill in the dairy aisle. And so he went down and, and put a sign over it. And, and, and so then I go and, and wait in line and I dance around. I mean, I'm singing. <laughs> I, I, if, if people are rigid, they get freaking so uncomfortable around me. I'll get, I'll st I don't like, I don't like when people like get in my personal space, but I don't do that. But I'll get pretty close and I'll dance around and, you know, <laughs> you know, people take life so seriously. I have for, I, I, I done it myself for years and years and years, and years and years. So, uh, I'm waiting in line and there's a woman like three people ahead of me. And on the register, on the self-checkout, <laughs> I'm trying to make buddies with employees at these stores. So if something happens and I get triggered, I can just go and find a friendly face. You know? <laughs> so, I, uh, I, 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 it doesn't happen a lot. It does happen. In the astrology, man, it's freaking fury. And I got all the placements to, you know, <laughs> activate. So... It's just, mom taught me a long time ago, it's just easier to stay out of trouble than it is to get out of it. So, and I, I run my mouth, man. I talk a lot of shit. I really do. So, uh, the woman, <laughs> the woman was standing there and she had cash and all the machines that, that, that were available, that, you know, cause I think there was only one of them that took cash or something like that. I don't know what the circumstances was, but she kept having to let people go and I was like she ain't never and I was like gonna be the third one and so I said come with me <laughs> so I paid for her stuff so she could be on her way and then went about my day and 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 just that's the stuff that makes people feel good you look at people in the eye and to see the generosity because you know 
And I always, I wear my, my stuff down here, and I get big smiles, you know, and I got a Merry Christmas and a God bless you. Yeah, I, I, I'm a happy holidayer because I, I don't, we don't do, we just like lights. I just like lights. I think it has something to do when I was a kid, had a light bright, and I would just stare in the, inside and, and wonder, imagine what it would be like to live inside a light bright. <laughs> so now I do. <laughs> Some odd years later. Yeah. Oh yeah. So imagine. I used to imagine like the wild. I don't know. I th I guess it's pretty wild. I used to because I knew I've always believed in incarnation. Like my spirit is always remembered that we are just living. This is just an experience to learn lessons, stuff like that. And I think in my last several last incarnations, I was a male, and I think I was a complete scumbag. So in this one, the universe is like, no, you're gonna be female, and you are going to have terrible things happen to you and that will rectify at 10 months old all the shit you've done you know the incarnations as a viking all this hard hard energy so bringing all that hard energy and dropping it into this little march this little me it's been a trip man <laughs> i was thinking about it today because i just I've always been very expansive and I've always done things that, I mean, sometimes I surprise myself. There's this, it was, we had one school for ninth grade in, in Redding, California, where I grew up called Nova. And I was like the second, or I, I don't know, I know, uh, I don't know about that when it closed, but there weren't that many classes after me. Because what they had, they had rivalry schools at Enterprise, Shasta, Central Valley High Schools. Now they have more than that. But when I was, this is in 92, 80, 88, 80, 88 is when I went to Nova. Anyway, they had like, and, and so they had all, they had the gold team and they had the purple team and the white team. And those were the football teams because they had like enough students from three districts that were going to go play football you know so they wanted to bring people together and then create division because <laughs> they always have you know oh you went to you go to you, you go to enterprise oh yeah you're you, you're a cow tipper you go to central valley i went to central valley i never tipped a cow i like cows i don't like to be tipped that's fucked up I and mean, it's not shit like that's not funny to me anyway so i did go to hicksville usa <laughs> and then Shasta was where the snooty, the rich kids lit, went. All right, so uh, there's this dude. He was on the purple team. His name was Angelo Nye. Dude was like, I don't know, like six two. He was a he was a big guy, you know, young, fit, stud, you know, and he has purple jersey. And I, I was friends with this girl, and uh, she she was giving me a note, and in this note she was like professing her adoration for this guy right she was like telling me how she liked him and how dreamy well i got that a lot the pretty girls i was always a pretty girl's buddy <laughs> i always like to be friends with the pretty girls you know so uh he he freaking uh <laughs> took the note he took the note that had this confession in it <laughs> I was like, no, not on my watch. <laughs> Dude went freaking like dark. It was like at Nova in the front foyer. Now I think it's like, I don't know, office buildings or something like that. But they have these big pillars. It's a really fancy building. Um, and like right when you walk in, you have the offices. And then off to the left, you had classrooms. And, the, and off to the left there, there's payphone. I think there's payphone and stuff right there. Off to the left there. He started like darting through people and I freaking ran after him and and dove. I just remember diving and going for his ankles and I freaking just like hung on and he just went down like a tree. His he was just he didn't even know. And then I he was like and I grabbed the note and I was just like later dude. <laughs> this stuff really happened. He probably, he, I don't know if he, probably, if he remembers that, I mean, is he really going to admit that he got tackled by this little chick, you know, this big stelly football star? Oh, good times. 
So, and then I was talking about um, the imagination station and hydration. That's what I was talking about. The stuff I used to think about, I was tripping out on. I remember, like, staring out the window. And, because cause I've, I've liked girls. I... My wires got crossed in a lot of ways <laughs> in this incarnation. You know, when I was a young girl, I wanted to be a boy. I did. I wanted to be a boy. And I'd all like, like, can it, is it like, is the possibility exist? Can it be done? But when I was growing up, like to have a sex change, you can't, it, now there's like, they're like going into a fast food restaurant and doing it and getting one done. Back then, you had to, like, talk to psychologists, and they had to approve, and, like, you had to go through all this screening shit and stuff like that. You know, and the only reason why I wanted to, I wanted to do it is because I grew up in an environment where men were catered, and I wanted to be catered to, in all actuality. You know, they got to play with the cool toys. They got to freaking, you know, drive the, you know, the, the big trucks. And, you know, I, I, I always like freaking like heavy equipments. I always was into freaking masculine things. And I believe that's because I'd lived all these incarnations as a male. But so now I get to learn the lessons of what it's like. And, and like, I get to learn hard lessons, man. Like starting my period when it was like a week after my ninth birthday, that's no fun. You know, having to leave class because your period, you know, at freaking not, you know, and that's because weird stuff happened to me when I was a baby. And when, when stuff like that happens to people, it like kickstarts their freaking, it kicks, it's charges, it starts your sex stuff. You know, so I was a highly, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I would imagine, I would do this stuff in my mind. You know, I always imagine having these really pretty girlfriends and I'd watch a lot of TV shows. So I'd like, okay, I want to, you know, I want to, and then I'd like imagine living incarnations as these different actors because the, all the girls like them. And I think back about like the ones like, ooh, that'd be fun to be him. I think back and not about it now, and it's just embarrassing, but I am going to tell a few. Kirk Cameron. <laughs> the dudes that were all on freaking, like, tiger beat and stuff. Oh, and he was not, I, I think he looked like a, kind of like a lizard. People without lips look like lizards to me. <laughs> not to freaking co-sign that freaking reptilian freaking narrative, but some people I do believe, like, resemble animals, like Elon Muskrat. Total muskrat, dude. And he's just a derivative. He's just a different as aspect of, of Echo Tole or whatever that guy is. They, like, look the same to me. It's a trip in my eyes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's just a different version of that. But how many people do you look like that you know that looks like somebody else? I know a lot of people that like, you look just, because I've known a lot of people in my life. I've always, I've, I've been a very social person. I've, I've run in a lot of different circles. I just like to try experiences on. And most, most life experiences aren't for me. I try them on, eh. I went to a freaking Masonic ritual when I was 15. Rainbow Girls. Wasn't for me. I always thought it was weird. It was right above where they did freaking, um... Like, uh, their freaking rituals. Live, we'll just call them life sacrifice rituals. It was right down the road. It was right down below from where, where the, that was. And they, they call it down Lost Lanes. Everybody knew what they did down in Lost Lanes. Women from the local church would go down and pray for the souls that were lost there. I mean, everybody knew about it. You know, so it's like, I always live this life that, that like, people have said, that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen. I'm like, the hell it does. I've seen it with my own eye, you know. Like, what, you ain't never seen a, people have never seen a snuff film? Those are terrible, man. And I, this stuff just, like, I come across it. I don't go looking for this stuff, mind you. Okay? But universe says you need to teach people what's really going on. You know, and then it didn't help like going to school with girls, you know, this one girl, Barbie. God, I think about her all the time, man. 
you know, cause like I was one of those, I was one of those, uh, babies, you know, cause baby, like ba- those babies that were raped and, uh, Barbie was one of those that had parents that were psychotic and freaking. she just remembers, she wrote a school paper about it in English class. And she talked about how she wa- witnessed her parents dismember her younger brother and put him out in the garbage. Yeah, and that, and then the you know of course the gar you know that he's found he's discovered, you know, and she just remembers like she had all these older sisters they were trying to keep them away from they were trying to protect the younger siblings, and then like the police came and and then they all got split apart, and she ended up and that happened on the East Coast back in the seventies, and so. You know, it's just, I've come across the paths of all these, of people that have just have these really unfortunate common denominators. But as I get older, I'm finding more and more, more and more percentage of the people on the population are being touched just by wickedness. It's impacting their lives in some capacity. It's withholding. It's impeding progress. It's thriving. It's living. And people just have to learn how to come into their own shine. Everybody's got their shadow size. You know, people are doing their shadowy shit tonight. So when I won't be able to sleep, I'll be (sighs) dancing for the good side. (laughs) And to me, just people that don't hurt people, harm animals, kids. Leave kids alone, man. Frickin' this, we gotta make this place a peaceful place. I understand the havoc that is coming. I understand the catastrophe that is abound. I understand the need for it. I just consider myself to be spiritual triage. I will be here to help pick up the pieces. To help put people back together again. You know? <laughs> It will be worth it. So, anyway. Yeah, my imagination has always been my saving grace. And I was always so bashful about stuff. So, I was never, like, thinking about, like, the sex part about stuff. But I was always, like, the courting part. You know, going to ice cream socials and dances and dressing up in your nines and looking your finest. And, you know, I remember... One gal I liked an awful lot. She ended up marrying a dirty Jesuit. <laughs> but we were going to go to a meeting on a Friday night. And I even got advance notice from her her spiritual advisor, we'll just call it. And, uh... Because I'd gotten tickets to go to... I think it was that one. What? Which one was the one that the producer... or rent? Which one is the, the song with all the seconds in it? It was that one. I saw them both. Actually saw, or maybe it was Chicago. I, I've been to a lot of Broadway shows. <laughs> anyway, I used to be into all that stuff. Shows. I think it started because when I was real young, my grandparents used to take us to the melodrama in Santa Maria. And I just like, oh, ah, pretty, pretty, pretty lights. La, 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 entertainment. Dazzle me. <laughs> and so, uh. Anyway, what was I talking about? My train. I should probably get going. My train of dot, thought just derailed. It usually starts doing that. Anyway, oh, that's what it was. And so we went, and, and so I picked her up. We were supposed to go to this meeting, and, and, and but I got permission, and I'm like, would you want, you want to go to this Broadway show instead? And so it was pretty fun. I love just surprising people. Just I just love making people feel good, you know? I can be an enabler. I got to be careful about that. I was telling that mom that the other day is that I can, I I know how hurtful and painful things are. So I try to alleviate that for other people. And sometimes, most of the time, all the time, it's not my place to do that because I, it's not for me to remove from their experience, from their own life lessons and their own path. So I got to be careful. Huh, mom? Sometimes too much is too not too, huh? Too little, too late. Yeah. You getting sleepy? No, I'm just rocking. You just rush. Every time I, 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 she, I think it's my voice. 
But every time that I start going, she just freaking, she kind of lulls out. Man, hey, Carl, what's up? Uh, VO, I don't. <laughs> what does that mean? What's VOI mean? I don't know what that means. Boy. Is that... See, because I think about language, it trips me out. Because I've been a, a part of so many different, like, organizations and groups. Just paradigms. And so the speak is all different. And, I mean, you want to talk about the world of acronyms? acronyms? We can talk about the world of acronyms in the Air Force. I would just listen to these freaking meatheads talk. I'd just be like, are you even a real person? <laughs> what am I hearing? I'm hearing things. Anyway, I think that's about all. Ooh, I made butter today. Sometimes I get really excited about the butter that I make. Mm, that right there could heal the earth. So many mad people roaming around this planet that just because they're in pain, man, they're just suffering. Things just hurt. Hurts to do stuff. And then cold makes everything hurt more. Ah, my marginals, they are going to heal the earth. <laughs> I just want to teach people how to do their own too, man. But I made some butter today and it's, 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 it's fine. And then this is what I did. Huh. I'm like the Ben and Jerry. Is that the ice cream makers? Are they still around? Do they still exist? Where's that? Oh, I gotta turn on the light. Here it is. What I do... Here. I like to spice things up. Maybe it was the years that I spent, the time that, or not years, but the time that I would spend with Imro Lagasse, and he would turn shit up a notch. Did he turn into a, a freaking satanic scumbag too? Anyway, so I got these. I got these. Those are the regular. And then uh, today I went back. Pickens are slim. There's not a lot of shit left as far as holiday stuff. And then they had... I didn't grab one. I grabbed three and none of them were the dark chocolate. So I put them in a bag and I freaking smash them with a hammer! Is that you, Stan Lee? Stan Lee, cute as can be, Stan Lee. And then I put them in my cookies. <laughs> and they're really, really good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is that little you? Did you just now wake up? Can I show people your cute little meepy face and how cute you are right when you wake up? I want to show them. I want to show them. He gets so sleepy meepy. He's so sleepy meepy. There's a tango. He said, I just woke up just now. I'm a sleepy meepy. He doesn't get to go out anymore tonight. It's a full moon and I like him. People do weird shit, man. People do weird stuff. And animals act crazy, you know? <laughs> you want up there? No, he wants a snack. He didn't want up there at all. Sorry, bud. Here, I'll put you back. Hey, Stan Lee. Oh, nope. He's staying there. He's staying there. This is how he's being. This is like him assuming his position. Oh, stupid cable. Why am I even... That's so cute little sleepy me, baby. He said these lights are so weird. Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me with these lights? They make it weird to me. He's so freaking cute, man. I'm such a freaking animal lover. It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid how much I love the critters. Anyway, so this is what I'll be doing in the morning. Spreading the Christmas joy. <laughs> We don't do Christmas. I should say the winter solstice. 
It's all for winter solstice. I like to spread cheer for winter solstice because now we're on the other side and the days are going to start getting longer because it is such a trip. I think it's a, it has to do with how crappy technology is and how fallible it is. But I've been looking at like, take example, for, for example, I'm going to take uh, AccuWeather as the weather app just to see okay what's the temperature outside right so for like three days in a row and it sh and it breaks up with the sunrise and the sunset you, you can do a daily or an hourly rather and right it has sun sunset sunrise sunset right and and for three days I think sunrise 710 sunset 450 Sunrise 710, sunset 450. That's, uh, what days were those? <laughs> Is there another one? 450, 710. And then, so for like four days, everything I've ever seen and I've recorded a lot of data. I have, my data points are way more vast than a lot of people. Just because I'm so broad spectrum. And I'm one of those people that, like, I get fixed on something. I like something. I do everything I can. I learn everything I can about it. I Like, I, I it's like <laughs> checking it out, you know, because my spirit knows I'm just here to live this life to experience things. So I've always just lived my life to have the experience. And it's weird to me when people don't, when they get caught in these loops and they just live the same day, same week. And then I started getting cocky about that. So God gave me the opportunity to share that experience with them as well. And other people have the whole last two years, they're having opportunities to, to have these shared experience of isolation and, and give people all, all kinds of ample time to consider what ifs. And then think about how people, all these people went in and stood and started doing all these what ifs and look at what's playing out now. A lot of these what ifs. There's so many, so many thoughts a human being can have from dark to shadow. I mean, ultimately, human beings are pretty narrow in scope. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then you have the people that are just like focused on one thing in life. And that's fine. That's their, you know, that's fine. They're just, fo you know, you have the people that are just focused on their family and there's not a, you know, planet out there. Their, 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 their family is their planet. And then you have people that, you know, are sports or, you know, athletes that they just train and train and train for that one thing and just do it over and over and over. I'd freaking go crazy. So I've tried a lot of stuff on and I've gone far and I've seen a lot of things. I have a lot of experience, so. Hi, Stanley! Stanley, Stanley, Kira's copy, Stanley! Tiger, I get loud and their ears are sensitive. Happy, do you like the full moon? I don't know. Wow. Yes, oh, he's getting it <laughs> on the cat tree. All the rope shredded. I have extra rope in the spare room of all the shit I brought from Morgan. I can't think of all. I mean, it makes me sad if I at all think about all the gar the, the gar all of my stuff that I had to leave there. Yeah. We pack light, so, um, I can't think about it. <laughs> so, but I got some rope, so I got to get a hot, a hot glue gun, and I'm going to re-rope this. What I want to do is when we get to our forever home, that's why how I want to earn some extra cash, is that they have pinion pines all over here, all over around, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty good smelling freaking, it's, it's a, it's a wood, and there's a lot of cedar, you know, a lot of different kinds of wood. And I want I want to make cat trees out of these. And I want to... Whoa! It's okay, bud. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody freak out. Nobody freak out. It's okay. Which one was that? The Big Bang Theory. Oh, there's my big speaker. Nobody panic. He. Nobody freaked out. That was cool. It's, I just saw 4444. Four, four, four. <laughs> that's cool. So, uh, I want to make pet furniture that's functional. That, like, like a cat tree with a bookshelf. Like a bookshelf within a place where you can put, like, a cat bed. Or, like, a. I got, I got, 
I got a lot of ideas. You know, I just... I'm ready for universe to give me the places to do, you know, I just need, I need a little warehouse with a little, uh, you know, a pot belly wood stove where I can do my inventing, you know, and then I'll, I got all kinds of ideas. So anyway, I think that's about all I got for now. I've been running my mouth long enough. Mom probably wants to go lay down.